Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I'm doing another product review. Now the product that I'm going to be reviewing is by Inspire by Made Beautiful. It's the hydrating jelly. It's this product right here. If you guys saw my November curl box, you saw that I received this in the box. And I'm excited to try it. I got a lot of things in that box. And I already tried the conditioner, which is really, really good. I like the conditioner a lot. So it says right here, the hydrating jelly is a unique blend of shea butter and coconut milk to provide soft, touchable hold without residue or flakes. Apply to damp or dry hair and style as desired do not rinse out so that's pretty much it i got this in my curl box how much does this cost what the heck this product oh it's on sale okay this product costs five dollars i'm looking at their website and it retails for 8.99 but there is a sale going on and it's five dollars everything's five dollars so yeah let's just jump to the point let's see how this product looks my hair is drying like crazy i feel like i should wet it but you know what we're just gonna go quick go quick baby so let's see I'm gonna apply a lot because just the fact that it says it has like a soft hold, hopefully if I apply a lot, I would have good cold, good cold, whatever. So this is how the product looks. Um, there's no stickiness to it. It feels really light. I feel like the more that I go like this, it's like really disappearing. But let's see how it smells. Oh, it smells pretty good. It has like a very fruity scent. I like that. Okay, right off the bat, it feels like I'm not applying anything to my hair. Oh boy, let's see, hopefully it's good. So this is all that I'm going to apply to my hair right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry and then I'll come back and give you guys my first impression. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So now that my hair is completely air dried, I can give you guys my first impression of this hydrating jelly. I applied a lot of hair product. Just because this product said that it was going to leave your hair with like a soft, touchable hold. And I already knew that I wanted a hold. I really wanted something to like keep my curls fine. So I applied a lot of hair product and it did leave a little cast on my hair. And as soon as I broke that cast up, my hair is feeling very, very soft. Feels very fluffy and I am really liking that. This product did define some of my curls. As you guys can see, it's looking pretty defined. But some of the size is looking a little bit frizzy. Can you guys see this side or this side? It's looking a little bit frizzy so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of this tomorrow to see if it like takes some of the frizziness away so these are some of the things I'm noticing with my first impression so I'm gonna check back with you guys tomorrow for day two so I'll see you guys in a little bit guys so today's gonna be the final day of me reviewing this hair product so I can give you guys my pros and my cons and my overall thoughts right now so I feel like a big pro of this is that it leaves your hair feeling very soft I don't have to worry about my hair feeling weighed down just because it feels nice and soft it feels fluffy and I just I really like the way it feels right now you guys can see like there's no hold it just feels really nice another pro of this product would be that it smells good this has like a nice fruity sweet scent not too sweet but yeah it has like a fruity scent and i don't mind it i think it smells pretty good so i will say that's a pro for me just because it smells good and it does linger on your hair but it lingers very lightly if that makes sense you smell it a little bit in your hair but it's nothing that strong so now that i finished the pros let's move on to some of the cons so i feel like a con of this product would be the curl definition while i do have some nice curl definition as you guys can see my hair is looking a little bit frizzy the size especially so i don't think it provided long lasting curl definition another con of this product would be that i have to apply a lot so yesterday when i was using this product i had to apply so freaking much like i don't think you guys of course you guys are not going to see it because i clipped i had to edit a lot of it out but i applied so much hair product just because this product felt like i didn't apply anything to my hair my hair was wet so when it reacted to the water in my hair it just made it seem like i was applying nothing to my hair like i was applying basically water so i had to apply a lot because i knew that if i applied like my normal amount my hair was going to look frizzy wasn't going to look intact so applying a lot of this hair product it did leave like a little bit of a cast but with that cast as soon as I broke it up my hair felt very soft it felt fluffy it felt big so I was happy that I applied a lot of hair product but that's a con for me just because I had to use a lot of this to get this kind of result and my hair is still kind of frizzy so um, this is still day two hair and I really wanted to show you guys how my hair looked at 11 in the morning when I first shot the pros and cons and how my hair looks now as you guys can see my hair is really really frizzy and I really wanted to document this for you guys just because in these five and a half hours, I don't know how my hair got so big. And it's not even hot outside. It's not hot, it's not humid, it's around 70 degrees. So I don't know why my hair got so big, but it really is. Can you guys see this frizz? Like, it's crazy. But I just wanted to show you guys that and just talk about how this product right here didn't really provide long lasting curl definition as you guys can see. But uh, that's pretty much it for this quick pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the video. 
I, this is something that I don't think I really need to keep in my collection um, just because it didn't provide any results that really wowed me with this product I know that I would have to apply a lot and I know that I would have to use it with something else and just because of that I wouldn't really be reaching for it on a daily basis I have other hair products that are gonna that I don't really have to mix in with other products so with this it isn't bad but it didn't really work out for me and it's not something that I'm going to reach out to on a daily basis. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this hair product right here. If you guys have tried it out please let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to know you guys' opinion. If you guys found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.